Questions and Answers with Sally Baker from Family Connection, South Carolina. What happened when Family Connection of South Carolina trained parents using the Supporting Your Child's Literacy Development at Home Tutorial and Facilitator's Guide? So this clip, this, the screenshot you see here is actually one of the, it's a screenshot of one of the slides that we created within the PowerPoint. So taking that information from the online module, that self-paced module that Sarah mentioned, and turning it into the PowerPoint so we could kind of click through it differently. Um, but what I wanted to talk about here is with parents, it's this, the modules are set up in such a way that like, it's very easily broken down. You can build upon them, just like Sarah said, but it truly just um, fosters that authentic conversation with parents when you're doing this. Um, and so in this section here, talking with your child, this is where, you know, some of the tips and tricks that are in there for us as professionals seem very natural and normal and commonplace, but for a parent who maybe doesn't have a background in education or development or know what's normal and natural, it gives you some really practical tips and really practical strategies to think about. So you can see the one on the screen right here says talking with your child during playtime. Um, this is something I don't know that all parents realize is important. Like, don't just say, hey, go play and I'll come play with you or I'll come sit with you while you do it. And instead you're on your phone as the parent and they're engaging with their toys. Um, but truly having that back and forth conversation, um, you know, giving them the opportunity to see what that feels, see how that works, see what it feels like, um, so that then they can go continue to learn what words represent, right? So if we're talking about the dog, as you hold the dog toy, we're, we're putting meaning to what's in their world. Um, one of my favorite um, kind of aha moments that happened and our very first presentation with this was um, a dad actually who had attended the presentation. And one of the tricks, one of the tips that is on one of the uh, supplemental resources that comes with this tutorial um, talks about getting down on a child's level when you're talking with them, right? Don't stand up and tower over them, get down on their level, kind of be at eye level um, and be a peer, right? When you're talking to them. And this dad mentioned, he said, you guys, I'm a businessman and I've always been told to sit behind my desk and seem powerful and bigger than everybody else. And he said, I've never thought about how that's affecting my child. Never thought about why it would be important to get down on their level. And that was his like first big aha. And I was like, yes, this is what we're here for. Have these conversations. Why these little things make a big difference. Because also we go back to speech, right? And we need to be able to see your mouth move. Or children need to be able to see your mouth move as you're learning to talk, which feeds into literacy and all of the developmental pieces. Um, so that's, I mean, that is like I said, it was the very first one that we did way back in 2019, and I still hold that comment very close because it's just the little things that make a big, big difference for these kids. Um, we have also taken this and been able to do it in a couple, I think once or twice now, where the children of the participants were actually there with us. Um, and so these parents then in real time got to hold a book and practice reading it with their, with their children because other parts of this, this uh, tutorial talk about um, those tips and tricks on how to further engage and have conversation versus like, oh, did you see the dog right here? More like what's happening on this page? You know, what do you see? Giving those WH questions that we all know as professionals help children learn um, and things that we're looking for, right? It aligns with our teaching standards. Um, but parents don't always know that. And a lot of times it's easier to ask that yes, no question that is a hard stop. Um, you know, and there's tips and tricks on what to think about before. Like, let's just read the cover of the book or look at the cover of the book together. So we were been able to do that with kids in the room, which is really cool to give parents that opportunity to try it out and really see how this feels and ask someone else to help out when they need it. Um, so those are just a couple of perks so far um, to training with parents and how we've delivered it. Thanks for watching this Q&A with Sally Baker from Family Connection South Carolina about aligning home and school practices using the Supporting Your Child's Literacy Development at Home Tutorial and Facilitator's Guide. You can find out more about Supporting Your Child's Literacy Development at Home in the Implementation Toolkit on the National Center on Improving Literacy's website, improvingliteracy.org. Watch another video in our Question and Answer series with Sally Baker from Family Connection, South Carolina.